Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we're diving into WAF bypass techniques using proxy chains with SchoolMap. I'll walk you through how to tunnel your SchoolMap traffic through anonymous proxies and demonstrate how this can help bypass web application firewalls. As always, ethical hacking requires proper authorization. Make sure you have explicit permission before testing any assets. This video is for educational purposes only. Let's get started. First, I'm going to show you a website protected by the Cloudflare WAF. Let's run a XSS test using the HackBar extension. As you can see, when we try using XSS Polyglot Payload, Cloudflare immediately detects and blocks them, displaying its signature access denied page. Now, let's perform the same test on a different website, this time protected by Mod Security WAF. As expected, when we send the payloads, the request is blocked and we receive an error response from Mod Security, indicating that the WAF rules are actively filtering malicious input. Next, let's copy the URL of this website and run it through the Jari tool. It quickly identifies the ID parameter as potentially vulnerable to Boolean-based SQL injection. However, after a few test attempts, it flags the vulnerability as a false positive. Now, this is the point where most people give up, but that's a mistake. A false positive from an automated tool doesn't necessarily mean the parameter isn't exploitable. Let me show you how we can still bypass these protections. First, open the proxy chain's configuration file. By default, it's set to use Tor via localhost, but for now, let's disable that by commenting it out with a hatch. Instead, I'll use some residential proxies from my paid account. Notice each proxy gives me a different IP address. Just copy all of these proxies and paste them into the config file. Make sure the format is correct. Next, disable the dynamic chain option and enable random chain. This improves reliability when working with multiple proxies. If one fails, proxy chains will automatically rotate to another. Now save the config file. To check if everything is working correctly, run a simple curl command through proxy chains and as you can see, we're receiving responses from different IP locations with each request. That's exactly what we need to evade rate limits and bypass double apps. You can also confirm this in the browser. Our IP address changes with each session and we're receiving 200 OK status codes from the site. This confirms proxy chains is successfully routing our traffic through the residential proxies. Now, let's use SQL map with proxy chains, along with some tamper scripts, to see if we can bypass the Cloudflare WAF. As the scan runs, you'll notice proxy chains logs cluttering the output. But to clean that up, go back to the config file and enable silent mode. Save it, and rerun the same command much better. Now the logs are hidden, and we get clean output. And look at that SQL map successfully bypass Cloudflare and dump the database table names. Amazing, right? This shows how effective proxy chains and the right tamper scripts can be in bypassing even strong W apps. This is purely for educational purposes as a POC. Always get permission before testing any website. Now, let's also try bypassing mod security using the same tamper script and proxy chains. As you can see, we successfully retrieved the database table names. Cool. Now, let's scale this process and talk about how to mass hunt SQL injection across similar targets. I started with a simple Google dork to identify similar subdomains. First, I reset the user agent to its default value. The dork returns a long list of related subdomains. Of course, manually testing each of these would be time consuming, so we'll automate it. Run the dorking script and input the same Google dork. The script will automatically scrape and save the results to a given .txt file. We got about 46 URLs. From here, extract only the domain names and store them in a clean list. 
Uh, next, we use Wayback Girls on these domains, combined with GF patterns and Euro to extract unique SQL parameter URLs from passive sources. After running the command, we got a massive list 15,401 URLs. Since testing all of them at once would be inefficient, we can reduce the noise by running this reject that gives us only one school param URL per domain, a great way to quickly identify vulnerable targets across a wide range of assets. Finally, we'll use Nuclei with Spell Injection DAS template to check each URL for error-based spell injection. If you want to test huge list multiple parameters at once, you can use this simple command. Now it will find any error-based spell injection vulnerabilities in real time and show on screen. And that's it. This method gives you a solid way to mass hunt spell injection vulnerabilities. Hopefully, this approach will help you to find more easily spell injection vulnerabilities using smart automation. That's a wrap for today's video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you're always updated with our latest content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.